I truly thank God that He can meet you right where you are. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Uh, I really do. A lot of people just don't really realize He meets you right where you are. Amen. He don't have no respect in place. I like that. He meets you there. And then he'll take it and nail it. Amen. Up on the cross. And when he nail it, don't reach up there and take it down. Amen. Let it stay up there till he bring the total change. Amen. And I thank God because God respects all his children. I think ain't nobody got nothing like about him. So you make that person. You sure can. When he said he took it, came down in sin for war, he came down in my sin. Yes. And he nailed my sin up yes. on the cross. Amen. Yes. He took all my stuff and he nailed it. And I ain't held against none of it. Amen. Yes. I just thank God for it. This is the last episode, the last, amen. Before I go into something else, amen, let's go to John 11. <laughs> amen. I got to finish it. Amen. <laughs> Amen, because it really has been an exciting thing, amen, God is doing. You know, I, I was talking to my friend down home, Shirley. I was telling her, 2011 came in on me, amen. I thought the end of when we saw the new year coming in, I thought it was going to be one of those years that it was going to be, you know, like amen. that. <laughs> amen. But it came into me like a storm. Amen. Amen. But in the midst of I told her, Amen, God is still good. Yeah, I'm amen. Thank you. Amen. amen. And you know, and, and I began, I know he said, told me six months. Amen. amen. Next month, I'll be six months. Amen. Amen. And then the word rest came to me, Mother Thomas. And 37 Psalm, Amen. And I began to look at it, Amen. And I thank God, Amen, that I'm just about to the bank of this storm that I'm riding out. Amen. 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 And so I'm saying, I thank God. Amen. Because it taught me to appreciate God more. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Appreciate God more and appreciate people more. Amen. Amen. And I'm saying this, amen, so y'all can grab hold to revelation. Thank you, Jesus. Of the knowledge. Time ain't nothing like it used to be. Amen. So if you got a hallelujah, I don't care who you mad with, you don't like, you better get it right. Amen. Amen. You Amen. better Amen. speak when you want to speak. Amen. You better love your wife and your husband while you got them. Yeah, that's fine. Because you never know what's going to come through the storm. That's right. Because God is trying to get who? Us. Us. Myself. In place. And pay attention to who we really is. Amen. And so this is what God was doing with Lazarus, trying to show the people who he was. You know, it's a shame Jesus still trying to show us who he is. Amen. He telling us who he is, and we turn the opposite way. You know, we turn not, not to the right here, we turn to the left. We deaf ear to him. Amen. But God is steady telling us. I'm with you. I'll never leave you. Not forsake you. Trust me. Put your trust in me. Be committed to me. Love me. Walk in my stature. Obey me. But yet we do this. But God going to show us today. Jesus still. I'm going to show you how Jesus still trying to tell us when he did die and resurrected. He was still trying to tell people who he was. Amen. I'm going to show you in the word. Amen. So we're going to talk. We're going to talk. Start at John 11 verse 42 through 44. And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Okay. Jesus said, and I know that thou hearest me. He knows that God hears him at what? All times. The way he said it. But because of the people. So he's concerned about us as people. People with standing. I say it. He said it because of them. That they may what? Believe. So my belief is not where it should what? Should be. We believe everything else except what he said. Amen. 
Amen. God just showed me yesterday you were close to a boy yesterday than you was day before. I'm telling you, God is steadily showing you that I hear you, I'm with you if you just listen to me. And I mean this thing slipped up on us so fast and we were just talking and, and Rilo and eating our little snacks, amen. And he had heard the po po with his thing. <laughs> And God fixed that thing. All them trucks and other things like that. And we said, well, shh. We kept peeping back to see he was going to follow. And all he could do was do this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So God showed me yesterday that he is with life of body ministry. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So I'm saying that believe. Amen. Come on, I'm using this to show you. How God is wanting you to believe. Okay, I'm all going to explain that. I want you to turn. Oh, I'm going to break that down. Let's go to John 12. Just turn over right here. I want to see verse 3. I'm going to break that down. Just a little bit. Yes, Lord. And we're going to get back on down. Fuck. Go to that. Back to that. Okay, verse 30. Verse 12 and 30. Jesus answered and said, This voice came, not because of me, but for your sake. See what he said? <clears throat> Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of who? Me. It didn't come because of him. But for your sake. So Jesus is what he's saying. Believe me, I'm doing this for your sake. Thank God for him doing it for me. So he's doing things for your sake. His voice is speaking out for you. It ain't about him. He's telling you, I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for you. So he's standing in the seat in the heaven just for you. My God. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, my God. See, y'all don't know how I'm looking out for you. Y'all be thinking it's your road dog, but your road dog ain't looking out for you. You think it's your girlfriend, your girlfriend ain't looking out for you. Come on now. Jesus is standing looking out for you. Yes, Ooh, my God. So y'all see that? So stop putting your confidence in your road dog. Put your road dog in God's hand and trust God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I want y'all to see that. So then he built it for who? For my sake. For my sake. I want y'all to get that. You got to realize what he's doing for you. Woo, my God. Mm. He's keeping your marriage together. Amen. Not calling you what you doing is for you. <laughs> my God. All right, let y'all see that. So y'all see what he's doing. Okay, you need to go back. Okay, go back to John 11. We're going to get 43. I'm going to break it down today to y'all. and show y'all what he's doing. And when he does had spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. When he got to tell him what he was doing it for, then he called Lazarus what? Forth. See, Lazarus, oh my God, Lazarus was dead. Yeah. He was physically dead. So he had to do something really shake up folks to see that he really mean what he said. Alright? So, sometimes it's a shame that he has to show you something before we believe. Yes. And today people have to see something before they believe. I feel right. like that. I'm a Show you got to show me for I believe. Mm -hmm. We got that with that spirit tongue with the tongue. Uh -oh. Down down. That he said, before I believe, I gotta put my finger in his side. Uh -oh. No, so I'm before I believe it, Lord, you gotta show me a sign. I gotta have it two more witnesses. <laughs> Come on. <Amen. laughs> we do that. We get in line. Somebody told you the same thing. Yeah. I be done told you the same thing. Here, somebody come here. Here you go, what's that? Amen. 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 Amen.
And she just said the same thing, and he said the same thing. I look over and mm -hmm. I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, come on, this is what Jesus said. Amen. We believe everything but self him. Yeah. If he tells you something, he's gonna perform his work, but it's in time. Amen. We forget about time. Yeah. All the time we keep it going to our job. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. I'm late. Mm -hmm. and get running out. Yes. Come on now, we we pray all the laws so trying to get to work. Oh, oh what? On time. <laughs> but we can't wait on who time. We can't wait on God time because He there. He said, I got to set it up. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Ain't that making sense? My mm -hmm. oh, God. See, but he trying to tell her, be patient and wait on him. Make, wait on time. He's not patient, it's time. Amen. Okay, I'm going to break that down. My God. Right, let's go to Acts 3. Yeah, I'm breaking it down so y'all can see in the word. So y'all know I ain't lying. <laughs> Jesus said this. Look at me. What are you trying to do? It's a saying he has to prove himself all the time. Mm -hmm. I thought about that movie we went to see, and this woman was with her husband out at the club, and this man came up talking to her, and she's flirting. She always had to have somebody to prove something. Mm -hmm. And the husband went to the bathroom, and when he come back, she done, this man done talked to her. And when he come back out, she was leaving with the man. And the man said, do I have to prove my love all the time? <laughs> he had to, that blew in his heart. And he, and he was running off that, you know. I got to, he tired of proving himself. Yeah. Come on, y'all. <laughs> that was Jesus saying, but I, do I have to prove my word all the time? Do you want you to believe a word? <laughs> That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, let me, I'm going to show you something in Acts. We're going to match that scripture. Act, I'll start at verse 12 down to 15. The way he said. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye, men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? <clears throat> as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk. Now Jesus still proving himself. Now he doesn't win in the grave. Now he's proving himself even when he went in the grave. Now that's a shame, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody has to <laughs> die to prove that he is the Messiah. Okay, come on, man. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate. When he was determined to let him go, but he denied the Holy One and the Judge. Mm. And well, the mm. Hold on a minute, let me show you something. Now, he said, he's the God of who? Abraham. Then God promised Abraham mm -hmm. he was going to bless his seed. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, and the blessing is going to come through who? Isaac. Mm -hmm. And then he left Isaac to Jacob. He left the daddy, the son. And then the grandson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the father, son, and the Holy Ghost. So God keeps his promise. These folks are dead and gone. And he's still holding to the promise. God do not break promise. If he told you a devil, he going to do it. If he said I'm going to give you a house with seven dogs and a, uh, a house out there, he's going to do it. All you got to do is sit and wait on his time. Because he, he ain't only keeping the covenant with you, he's keeping it with the, the dead that's been gone. Come on. He don't forget covenants and promises. But he said, believe me. He done it. Okay, come on, man. Let me show you. But he denied the Holy One and the just, 
and desire the murderer to be granted unto you. No, we don't, Lee. No, we don't. No, we don't. We want it. Now look, see, now, come on, who, who, how many murders do y'all want? What do, what do we do? We desire other things. It's not over here. We deny the just one. We deny sitting at home and maybe like we can get it together. And you can't get it together because he's the creator. Mm-hmm. We deny by we go get some stuff and say, go relax me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and all it is, made more demons. Come on, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Amen. I'm, I'm going I'm to go get me in uh, love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna love on him a little bit. Oh, he did get himself more demons than he got. Amen. Come on, y'all. I'm being honest. Come on now, I'm being honest. You got to up and learn. You got to wait on the just one. Amen. See, he was saying y'all rather have a murderer than to have the deliverer. We do. Can I rather get out here and fight myself? For myself, he said, the battle is here. I was telling my Thomas and, and uh, Adela, I said, God showed me something. I'm tired. We said, folks, oh, robbing them. No, folks said, robbing them. We robbing ourselves. Amen. Because God, God showed me, more I have to fool my confidence, I'm him and who? Myself. And you tell me, why I'm broke all day? You call yourself broke because you stay out of the will of God because you're not on the just one. If you put, that's what Pop Peter was telling. Now y'all denied. Y'all had the right man. You had everything you need, but you didn't believe. He had to die and you still don't believe. And today, he's, we don't believe. Because we believe, we have become what? Committed to it. We'll find our hand being busy. We'll find ourselves telling somebody about the just one. Yeah. I'll find myself bringing somebody to the just one. Yeah. I won't be the only one sitting up there getting fat. Amen. Come on now. Amen. That's true. Cause if something you believe in, you won't tell somebody. Why I say that? Let's let's say, it. ooh, I'll say it all that JC Penny cuz <laughs> we run. Cause I'll tell her, cuz go to JC Penny, cuz they got these she- fine, bad shoes you been talking about. Cuz they have We'll tell that. Uh, <laughs> Come on, this is what Peter was saying. Amen. We'll tell our partner, man. And see, we this is the thing where we messed up at. We try to stand around and try to you know, prove it, you know. But you just invite. Just come on go with me. Man, you was a freak. I'm going to show you something. This is what Peter was telling me. Y'all denied the just one. And y'all rather have a murder. Mm-hmm. Y'all rather have something that ain't going to do you no good. Mm-hmm. This is what has happened. And we as God, baby, he said, I nailed it. I ain't, I, I, I'm so glad what he's doing to my heart this morning. I'm crying out more now than I ever cried out before. To get people to realize if you submit this to the Lord, your heart told it to him, he'll get your life in order. Amen. I know mine, not Lord, Amen. but he's getting it Amen. in order. Yes, Lord. When he get all this in order, then everything around me don't get in order. Yes, ma'am, I'm jacked up. Amen. I ain't shaking to tell nobody. I'm jacked up. Amen. But Cameron, he this morning, he said, I'm going to get it in order. Come on, man. And I believe it. God. Now, let's see what verse 15, this is what he tells. And kills the prince of life, whom God hath raised from the dead. Whereof we are witnesses. Okay, see, he told you done killed the prince of life. 
every time I kill Jesus every day. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm kidding. You keep, I kept the Prince of Life. When I choose to follow something else in life, I kill it. Yeah. So I need to stop killing it. Amen. This is what he would tell them say, Y'all killed the Prince. Y'all killed the very thing that you followed to give you life. He said, I came. To give you life and life more fun. But we don't believe that he, he done gave us that. So I kid. I kid him every day. Pow, Jesus, I just shot you. Pow, Jesus, I shot you. This is when we kill him. They kill the prince of life. I kill my own opportunity. Mm, thank you, Uncle. You killed me so He said, I am come to give you life and life more abundant. Mm -hmm. So God has already set your life and your destiny already in place. Mm -hmm. Okay, each time I get out of the way of what I did, I killed my plan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I killed it. <laughs> I killed my relationship where God had gotten me to have for today. Mm -hmm. Because I choose to go the opposite mm -hmm. way. So what did I do? I killed. So I got to go right back through the same thing again. And I don't know when that might come back around. Amen. He took the children of Israel. What they did? They went in the wilderness. We have 40 years. See, you need to take opportunity day by day and look at your life and not so busy killing it. If somebody in your day, somebody kind of get on your nerves, it's because God is pushing you to another level. Don't kind of, what say, put your mm -hmm. God up to try to defend yourself. Because he told me this morning, he said, bitches is mine, whatever right I'll be. Amen. See, I could fight if I wanted to. Amen. All that I can tell some folks all right now. <laughs> My flesh might be justified, right. but my spirit man is dead. Yeah. It's not making sense. Mm -hmm. So I, why is I going to kill what keeping me alive? Mm -hmm. yes. See, don't kill what giving you life. Mm -hmm. He said, business is mine, whether right out pay. So I ain't going to kill you, Andre. I'm going to let you water my, my lilies. <laughs> come on. That's what he tried to do. People come up against you. They are watering your life to bring life more to you abundantly. Mm -hmm. It's how you look at it. Because God ain't looking how she did me. He's looking at how my country react to it. So this is what he's trying to show us. He's showing us don't kill the prince of life. Amen. Y'all see that? I'm going to hurry up because I got to get me some sleep today. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to get it? No. <laughs> no. Well, you don't get it. Because I'm going home. I pull this dress off. Give me some meat. And bed bound, I'm going. Because I got to go to work in the morning. I ain't off tomorrow. All right? Amen. See, now how I tell you not to give it so tonight. I'm going to sit up in bed and get my motor receipt. Oh, you look right. like this? Thank you. You never look like this. All right. Amen. Amen. You don't come to church, you just don't come to church. Amen. 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 I, I, I ain't got like that, Amen. Amen. Jesus said the word, he moved on. Because I see now people do not want to live. They rather die than to live. So I got to let Jesus show. I'm in the way. So I'm going to have to wait. Hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Jose is not the one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. We done good. He did something for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm 
come out, I'm messing up. Mm -hmm. Oh, going to take me off of my time. Mm -hmm. It ain't my time to go out. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's, let's go back. Oh, my God. Mm. Lena, let's go back to John 12. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to see John 12, 23 through to 30. How much you see? Oh my God. We just start at verse 20 to 30. <laughs> and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feet. The same came therefore to Philip, which, which was of the Messiah of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we will see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Philip cometh. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered and said, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Very verily I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. Mm -hmm. I will just stop right there. See what Jesus had to tell them? Okay. Jesus was telling them, I got to die. So, I can bring life to you. That's what he was saying. <laughs> now, if you look at it in the nature, you said Jesus' life was in vain. Because we ain't grab hold to what? We ain't grab hold to what he said. We haven't grabbed hold to what? Life. You serve God through the spirit. The flesh has to what? Die. Die. This is how you going to live through the spirit. This is what he was trying to show the people. You can't serve me by the law of the word. You got to serve me by the spirit of the law. Willie, really, you ain't going to know Jesus to the fullest until you die out of that flesh. Like he said, what he had to do. <laughs> He said, baby, baby. I say unto itself. He, he said, itself like the corn. He used the corn as a example. He was the corn. Until mm -hmm. uh, you die out of your sinful thinking, or whatever you thinking is supposed to be right in your eyes, it ain't going to work. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is what he's saying. He said, except a corn of wheat falls. When he means fall, that means to die. Mm -hmm. Fall into the ground and die. And abide. Where are you supposed to abide? Alone. Alone. Mm -hmm. It can't grow. If get up, uh, Bob, get up out there. I'm supposed to be dying. Mm -hmm. I done pull you in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pull you in. I need one more. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Two more people. Come on. Somebody. Uh, Michelle, who else? Come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Come in front of me. Okay, look. He said, I'm by the Lord. How many people I got with me? Three. So I ain't buying what? I ain't about, oh, that's four. I ain't buying them what? I ain't about. He said, you must abide alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. So that's why I ain't growing, because I got all these around me. Thank you, Lord. So I need to cut some of this man off for me. Here I am on this, this mistake, and here I am where I'm going to got to look terrible. Look both right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Amen. Oh. 
It's saying, I want to give you life and life more abundantly. So I must die alone. Oh, my God. I like the way he's talking about yeah. that. So I can bring forth much fruit. So when folks start dropping, you start trying to pick them back up. Right. Amen. Come on now. Right. I don't know why Mother Thomas was mad at me. Oh, I'm going to go over there and ask him. Yeah. <laughs> then Mother Thomas get small with me, Lord, I'm going to let her get small with you because I told you not to bother. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on now. Yes, Lord. That hurts my hand. Amen. Yes, Lord. Mm. She's been my friend for 10 years. I said, don't you know, God, that uh, she can't add to you because I don't want to give you another life? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. I, I'm looking at how God is changing my life. Amen. I used to hang around both of them. But now God changed my mind. I got to yeah. get my thoughts somewhere else where you want me. So you need to stop worrying about your, your road dog that you drank 20 years ago and they still around. Mm -hmm. you, you, God don't want you around them no more. Mm -hmm. So it ain't that God, they mad at you. God just done cut you off from it. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he desired to make you something else. Yeah. But we don't understand he's trying to give you life. Come on now. Mm -hmm. He's trying to put you in a place where he designed you to be. It ain't about you. Right. It's about him. He might want to be in the White House. He used our here in Missouri in the pit. In the pit. Oh. Mm. Come on. Come on now. <coughs> we need to learn what God is trying to do in your life. Amen. Come on. Come on. I'm learning. I'm learning, y'all. <laughs> Come on, God ready to move you to a flight. And here you trying to tell Johnny with you. Johnny don't want to go. Johnny didn't want to play. Shoot up that. He died there trying to shoot him with and feeling condemned all that fame. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on now. Cause there's no life in it. Amen. Come on. So we got to learn how Jesus fear within. So every time I throw that die, I'm killing life. Come on, Sister Shady. Thank you. Ooh, my God. I was about to make you sick. Amen. Ooh, so I, I want you some of y'all to get somewhere. Yes. <laughs> my God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, come on then. Let me, let, let me go a little further with this. He that loveth his life shall lose it. Mm. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it until life eternal. See? Now see what he's saying? If you keep loving that which you used to, mm -hmm. you gonna lose. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you wonder why you lose. Because mm -hmm. you holding on to stuff that God said let yeah. go of yeah. it. So you lose it. And he that hated his life, see you got to hate it. Mm -hmm. You got to hate stuff you used to do. Mm -hmm. You just can't keep on saying, I'm going to put up with it. I hate that. I hate being like that. Mm -hmm. I hate keep on going to the wrong person and trying to get back mm -hmm. and not go to God first. Mm -hmm. People go to people first before they go to God. Mm -hmm. Come on, I hate that. Mm -hmm. Come on. See, you got to you got to hate something before you leave it alone. That's right. Amen. You got to get in the position to hate it. Mm -hmm. Until you get in there, don't beat yourself up. Mm -hmm. Then he telling you, you first got to hate it. You ain't gonna quit doing something. You get tired of that. Mm -hmm. You got to get it. You got to hate it. Mm -hmm. If you don't hate it, I can tell you all that man. Don't eat that apple pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm telling Linda, because it ain't helping you. You ain't going to mess around and get down. I'm telling Linda, hey, eat that apple pie. Mm -hmm. She going to keep eating. She might not eat as many slices, but she going to eat every night. And she going to eat every night. Amen. To the point that she hates hate it. Mm -hmm. See, you got to hate something. See, y'all see what he's trying to say? Mm -hmm. You got to hate it. My God. Ooh, my God. Hate his life. You have to hate it. In this world, mm -hmm. shall he keep it 
unto life eternal. Mm -hmm. So that's a switch thing. Mm -hmm. Every time, my God, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. You're trying to save money. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm going to say this. You sign the God trying to get you to save money, put money in place. But every time a star come out, you go get it. <laughs> then when you get it, your money gets like, oh, I hate I bought that. Mm -hmm. What you do? You ask him to help you, but why did you go buy? <laughs> God saying that you everything you see that is in style don't mean it's style for you. Yes, That's right. Amen. amen. And that what? Time. Cause you ask him to help you save, so he tried to show you don't buy now. Don't buy it now. I'll fix it and get it on sale. You where they sell fifty, sixty, or maybe a hundred dollars. I might put it on sale for twenty five if you just wait. wait. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. So making sense? That's right. See? God, he said I give you life. How about making sense? I mean, he came that way. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, <laughs> Thank you. I dropped the tip in your head, so he gonna show you. Just ask him to put it on sale for you. Mm -hmm. Tell him what you want the mouth you want is on sale for. Then he say he was the prince of life. Yeah. All you gotta do is tell the Lord, I want that. Mm -hmm. Will you put it on sale? Amen. I want me a new living suit. I'll put my little money back. And when I get enough, I think I got enough money. I was like, Lord, put it on sale. Mm -hmm. So I, I want more than that. I want to change my whole living life. So I want to know if I can speak it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm praying. Every time he give me a little extra money, lady, I don't spend all that. I don't spend all that. I put some of it back. I get it done and say, you need to... Donate here. You need this and that. But God don't tell me to do it. I don't mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Amen. Thank you. Amen. So you can prosper. But you want to prosper. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, man. If any man serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. See? See what, this, what he trying to show us? Through his death, he said, Okay, I'm at, my God, he said, if any man serve me. So he said, be with me. If you be with me and serve me, let him follow me. You got to follow what he tell you. And where I am, where I, but now where he at, now he's up where? He's in heaven. He's on high. He's a high priest. So I, my thoughts need to get wet. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes I wonder, do we see him like that? I'm asking the question. I'm going to ask the question. Me and Bob said, I'm just going to ask the question. Being served. But I'm going how, how do you see him? How, do you, how, how far do you see Jesus and him being a person in your life? Do you see him as a what people say he is, he's a God. You know about somebody else talking. Mm -hmm. But how do you see him? Because you have to follow something that you believe in. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going to get it. How far do you, where do you see him at and follow him and you believe in him? You come to church, but do you believe him of what he said, or are you just going, just be going and saying, is it just for me to go to church? Just serve God, you know. I ain't really serving Him, but I I'm just coming to church that I can hope to make me feel better. See, your action and thing make you show how you really feel. That's what we hear about a woman mm -hmm. and a man. Mm -hmm. A man know you by your action. Mm -hmm. So. Anybody want to give me an answer? 
I I feel he's almighty. Like even though I don't understand everything, I believe it. I know it's true because he said it's true. Mm -hmm. But I understand it. Now he just all that to me. Okay, that makes sense. You ain't trying to understand him because he'll give you the understanding. Mm -hmm. But you believe that he is the almighty. Mm -hmm. And this is where I, I want to see where you at. So a lot of people go just to be gone with different styles of motive of coming to church mm -hmm. or serving God. Some people come to church just to say because they made me come. Mm -hmm. I come to church because I it just oh man they, I, that's something I need to do. Uh, I said after yesterday <laughs> when the Lord kept me from getting a speeding ticket that I know I did. I believe you. I mean it's not like I didn't know he really had took me But you really believe him. Yeah. See you trust him more. This is where I'm trying to get to people what we do. God begin to bring you outside. We just like the children and we forget. Mm -hmm. Then something else come up, we go panic. Yeah, we, sure do. we don't what? Believe. See, this is where he wants you to believe no matter what the circumstance it is or what you into or what's going on with you, still believe me. You serve me if you still believe. People don't believe. But until they see something. Mm -hmm. But you, he wants you to believe him for what he said. Amen. Now y'all see what I'm saying? Amen. You still got to believe him. You still got to be committed to him no matter what it seems like. Where he had, I like what Jesus said. He said you're going to grow up with the weak and the terror and I do the separation. And what do we do? We separate ourselves. So I'm not what? Serving him. Mm -hmm. See, I, I want y'all to see. I thank y'all for y'all to be here. I'm giving y'all something to think about. So when you get ready, you come back and check. <laughs> come on, it's something. Really think. How committed are you to something that you can't see? But you believe, but he showed you. Yeah. This is what he's saying. My people, I'm doing it for them, not for my sake. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus, right today, are doing things for you, not for his sake, it's for your sake. Mm -hmm. So you know when the time that he cracked the sky, you won't be doing like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the man, he'll catch you up. Mm -hmm. Because you believe in him so much, he automatically going to take what it is. And no matter what is going on, he said, I'm going to take care of what is mine. And the gas prices is up and everything is gone. But he said, what's mine? You ain't going to go home. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to stop. Because I'm going to put something in your house. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Lord. I'm going to see you eat. Because mm -hmm. you trust me. I'm your source. Mm -hmm. He said, follow me. So Jesus ain't going to stop. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna be hungry. He ain't gonna be outdoors. Reason why you all outdoors is cause you didn't stay under the covenant. Long as I stay under the covenant, he's obligated to take care of me. Thank you, Jesus. With a sincere. I ain't looking for his stuff. I'm looking for him. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Stop looking at my stuff. Mm -hmm. Look for me. Amen. I'm bigger than my stuff. Amen. <laughs> Somebody can break in and steal your stuff. That's right. Say, but That's nobody can steal me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he's trying to tell the people. Amen. I'm on, I'm on, come, on, come on, let me get on down so I can get y'all out here. Now is my soul trouble, and what shall I say? Mm -hmm. Father, save me from this hour. Before this cause came out to this hour. Mm. Father, go ahead. Father, glorify thy name. Then came their voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Mm -hmm. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it, said that it thundered. Others said, Neighbor spake to them, <laughs> to him. And Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Mm -hmm. So he said that twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's the way some of us is. Mm -hmm. God is talking to you, speaking to you. Like I said, 
Did I told you? Yeah. And then, and then I'm on, I call God speak through me. Uh -huh. He be unsaid. And then here comes somebody in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You still want to hear somebody saying. And then sometimes God even talk to you himself. Amen. Amen. And you don't believe what he done told. Amen. He's, he's so concerned to the point that he had to die to show people that he is who he said he is. Do you trust him enough in your life or you are oh, what's that? Self-conscious about your life that you don't believe God that deep in your life? Amen. Some of us self-conscious, we don't believe God that deep in our life. Mm -hmm. So he so we feel like we lost. I I feel like I'm losing my mind. No, you ain't losing your mind. He changing your mind. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He's changing you. You become the mind of him. But we still trying to hold on to that old thought. But it ain't gonna stay. He said old things and what? Yeah, the old new. So he tell you where my thoughts are, this is where I'm gonna put you. Where I'm at, that's where you gonna be. I walked in royalty on the earth, you gonna walk in. But no, I want to do the, <laughs> the thumbs. They say the third, you know, I'm used to the third. <laughs> I feel good with the third. And this is where he tried to change that. Amen. I, I saw him, T.J. was saying the same thing this morning. He said, we ain't never been a friend. But all of you used to be in where I'm at then. I'm all going to use that. He said, when I went, he said, I felt like a different person. He said, was telling me in New York, he said, he met this preacher. And he was saying, let's go to the theater to see her. Then he said, man, said, I ain't never been one. And he stayed in New York. <laughs> see, we have good things in Kansas City, Missouri, but we never go to. I can say that about Michelle. Michelle, go play. Y'all go <laughs> That Michelle will go. I, I, I give her a high five. Amen. I do. She know what. If you want to know something, ask Michelle. She can tell you right there. Amen. Her name was all in Wichita. We be bumping up in the room. <laughs> Come on now, go ahead and sleep in here and eat. Yeah. This is what we used to. Come on now.
Amen. Amen. He can't find you sitting up in the house. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And the little lady got. <laughs> 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 but God, Amen. We got to change our mindset. He's trying to give us life. Amen. Amen. Woo, my God. I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Let oh go see I'm about to I'm about to let's go back to oh we ran on that John eleven forty two and the bird forty two I think I got there all right I'm getting through Ooh, my God I thought that was gonna get out of the day and I knew and I knew that thou hurt hearest me always but because of thy people which stand by I said that they may believe that thou hast sent me see he still he done said it what three times. When the word of God says something to you three times, he wants you to get that. Right. He wants you to get the point that <laughs> I'm doing this for you. Father, I know you hear me. But for all that was say, I want you to do it. It's for your sake. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. The Father heard. But now following with it, I want you to do it for. So she can believe what I'm saying. But what we do, we step out of what? Out of time for God can get it all what? Oh, Set up. Oh, he did the same death that Lazarus did. Mm -hmm. He used Lazarus as a natural man, then he used himself as a spiritual man. Yes. So that the natural and the spirit. So which one are you going to lean to? Spirit. So he's showing you we're leaning the wrong way. The world is leaning the wrong way. I'm going to believe it. I, I believe it when I see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where I, this way the world mind is. When uh, what's his name they kill? They want that on TV. What's the man's uh, name? The lot. They want to show it on TV. Why I'm gonna learn about all this? <laughs> oh, yeah. You see how the world? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody believe nothing. Mm -hmm. We get lost because we don't believe. We got the sin of fear. I believe Barbara him. Now by faith, Lord, that she here. I got the feel of her. <laughs> now I feel her. She's here. <laughs> Although Jesus said, I'm not here in the natural flesh, but I'm here with you in the spirit. So he said, follow me. So he still here. Yeah. But he here by the Spirit. But now I don't see. You know you didn't get them free. Something come to you free. We just escape. <laughs> God be the made a way for you to escape. No, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. But God done made it. Mm -hmm. How much you see? So you see Him by the Spirit. I hope I get this in. Sometimes I look at y'all, I say, Lord, it's the <laughs> I look at your eyes. I say, let's come the eye to the soul. I say, Lord. I look down, look closer. Yes, she did. It's all getting there to see that you is a spirit. If you see him like the spirit, see, you would see him. A lot of people don't see him like that. They still trying to see him in the natural. Come on, let's see him in the spirit. So he done said it to you three times. That's just like a warrant. That's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. God speaking to you. Three things. My God, my God. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Let's turn over to John. That verse. I'm gonna John 21 through 7. Yeah. I'm going to show you something now. I noticed this morning how Jesus showed the example of his coming out of the grave than left. It's the same identity, but one thing Jesus did, it was all to, to show people to witness me what he said. And it's a small thing. Ain't many people miss that. Mm -hmm. It's a small thing that he did were opposite than natural. And I'm going to show y'all. See, see, that's why we can't see him because he does things sometimes in a small mm -hmm. thing. Amen. I'm going to show you. Amen. Come on, man. The first day of the week coming, Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre and see the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she running and coming to Simon Peter. And the and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved, and said unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Now listen, now listen, look at Peter, we are called. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came, Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. Mm -hmm. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloth lying, yet went he not in. Okay, Peter didn't go in. Mm -hmm. All the disciples went in, but Peter didn't go, but look what happened. Then comes Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and see the linen cloth lying. So he saw the cold line. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where I'm going to verse 7, I'll show you something. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen cloth, but wrapped together in a place by itself. So, when he called Lagra out, he told them to take the off his face. Mm -hmm. Right here, when they Peter him saw him, he took the linen and it was sitting all from his what cell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to show he was witnessing that he was. God mm -hmm. through that piece of cloth. Mm -hmm. See the difference? Small thing. Mm -hmm. He was showing them that what I told you mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. He took the cloth. Mm. I know. <laughs> then he said he was what? He had to die what? Alone. What was separated? All this was over here. Mm -hmm. And that linen was wrapped there. And it was all of them. Come on. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes. See the difference? Mm -hmm. But when Lazarus came out of the grave, Lazarus was covered with everything. What I was showing y'all a while ago. Mm -hmm. We covered everything. 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 Everybody. Come on. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all got that. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came out of the grave. He left all of that over there. Yeah. <laughs> and the linen was alone. Oh, was alone. So he's showing you the example. You need to leave all of that over there. <laughs> and have that over. You can't. Y'all see the difference? Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to show you how Jesus was showing you he witnessed of his own resurrection. Mm -hmm. Through the action that Lazarus went through, Jesus went through the same thing. He walked the same walk. But his action was different than Lazarus. Y'all can be, I mean you can walk the same walk, but my action can be different than yours. I can choose life or death. All of us come to life abundant ministry. 
But it's love unto you what life you choose. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on. That's what he's telling you. You can choose life or death. He brought Lazarus to life. Lazarus was dead through the flesh. But he was alive through the spirit. So he was showing the difference through the neck. He put that thing that they put on his face, he put it up. Oh my God, I can preach. <laughs> thing that bothers you that's covering your face, you can put it up. Nah. When some folks can't put nothing up. Nah. <laughs> when you got an anger problem and, and, and it's coming over your face, you ought to be able to let Jesus have so you can begin to what? Put it up. <laughs> when I used to Joke all the time. I don't joke no more, so I put it up. That's the difference between the world and you. They looking at how you have on your job. Some of red hands, you said, and they wonder why you ain't ready, because you put it up. So that's how he be seen. It's how you react to things. That's what he was showing by Lazarus and him. That's the difference. So he can show the people, you killed me, but I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> people try to kill you, Lena, mm -hmm. but he going to show them you still alive. alive. That's right. I use that with your church, although God has been the planet to the world, they think I'm dead. But God said, put it aside, and I will show them you are alive. All right, amen. I want you to grab that, so y'all, you can keep going forward, so you won't stop. <laughs> your continence will not change, because you hinder your blessing from God, because he's not going to you like he wants to, because you are in the dead flesh. You wonder why you struggle because you're in the flesh. But when you get in the spirit, God said, I will lead you, guide you, and you'll be right where I'm at. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When you try to struggle to pray your bed, he'll get your bills in. Amen. 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 My God. Thank you, Jesus. Lean up, Jay. <laughs> Uh, every time I look back, every time I get with God all my bills, mm -hmm. and I went to. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> I left them bills sitting there. Mm -hmm. I didn't check them when I was mm -hmm. before I left. Mm -hmm. I got back and I went to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I added them all up. Mm -hmm. And it came to that time. I ain't got the other two. Mm -hmm. No, the other three. Mm -hmm. All right. Picked it up. That when the storm was on. I right. went and picked up a little old chick. Mm -hmm. Check my little bank account. You know, my little check where I pay for bills. I don't trust that. That's my bill check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, check it out. The right check to buy stuff. I got check it out to pay bills. Yes, right? Amen. Now we buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I went on down there. Put my little check in there. I asked myself, tell me what I got. <laughs> 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 when I added all up, the front bill with, with my rent and everything, it was almost $800. Seven hundred some dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord, mm -hmm. it's what it is. So I couldn't pay, put my pay the bill that day because the tornado and everything. I'm out trying to pay the bill riding around and roll this around. I didn't pay nothing back. <laughs> <laughs> Got in the bank to pay clothes on me, so I couldn't pay my bill my, that day. So I went on the next day. I said, all right, I ain't going to put the bill in the mail, so I put the check in the so I went on put it, 
Ain't nobody. I said, okay, Lord, when you try, go oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. I got no money here with that. Pay that bill. Mm -hmm. By that time, Mother told me before I got ready to go to Wichita, here comes the water bill. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't pay you. Ain't nothing come back yet. Amen. I said, Lord, you pay these bills. Yeah, amen. You keep them paying. Yeah. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Well, I'm saying I trust in him. Where he added that money from, I don't know, but it was in there. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. See, I Thank you, Lord. Amen. He take care of his Amen. own. Yes. Yes. If you follow what he said, this is what he did with Lazarus. He showed you, I will give you life and life more abundant. But we choose to walk in the spirit of Lazarus. In the flesh. Let's kill the flesh. Today, all right? Amen. It's dead. It's dead. And you going to ride in the resurrection? Amen. Your nappy going to be on the other side? Amen. When they come to your house, they're right back with y'all. So lift your glasses now. Amen. Come on, y'all. Thank you, man. Woo, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. So anyway, come to your house, they say, where you at? Look over there. That's a nappy. <laughs> I'm going to die out myself and come more alive in the spirit so I can increase natural and spirit. Come God abundantly bless. Did he bless y'all? Yeah. Don't he know he want to show his glory? How he can't show it? If I'm sitting up here where I in the flesh, Amen. Job did not curse the God. He cursed his birth plan. Yeah. Come on y'all. This is what I'm trying to say today. My God, this is what I'm saying. That they might believe. So God wants you to be a example for him. Amen. So people will believe that he's with you. Amen. He wants you to be a example, Lena, that people will believe that he is Lord. You ain't got to prove it. Just walk it. And just believe it. That's all he wants. We trying to make folks believe I'm right. You can't make folk believe you right. Yeah. Just let believe, let Jesus make you right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for the word. I hope y'all got something out there. Amen. 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 We thank you, Father, for the Spirit of the Lord that makes us rich and it add no sorrow. And Lord, I thank you today that as they see you in the Spirit, this is what Peter was saying to the people, that if they would see the Prince of Peace of life in the Spirit, you shall have life and life more abundantly. And Father, today, if we turn from our ways and turn to you, that we shall see you in the fullness of the Spirit. I shall see you moving by your Spirit, moving out this out of my way that I can walk down in. And Father, today, we're going to give you the praise. We're going to give you the glory. Because you is King of kings, the Lord of glory. And we honor you as our Savior. 